Hi, this video is to show you how an employee can request a life event. So I've logged in as Josh Bronson. He is an employee at our demo company. And when Josh has an event, all he has to do is go to the widget on his front page that says My Benefits. Here, he, depending on where he is in his employee cycle, he may have a link to start new employee enrollment. He may have a link to start open enrollment or any time during the employee cycle, he would have this button to uh, begin a life change event. So all he has to do is click this life change event and then he would put in the effective date and he would say, what was the type of life event? Was it a birth, adoption, death, divorce, job change? And this would be based on your life change events in your system. So we're going to say uh, birth of a child, and we'll say save. And then it takes him through the benefit, you know, changing benefit enrollment or benefit enrollment options for all of the plans that can be affected by a life change event. In the demo company, Josh has the opportunity to look at his instructions. Um, he can supply additional information. We've already filled in the date of his event. And then he can look at the medical. So he could compare plans, employee only to employee only with what is my contribution and how often do I have to pay it? And he can see that. When he determines what he wants to choose, he can then click on the um, coverage or the plan and choose his coverage. He would have the opportunity to add his uh, dependents if they've already been added to his contacts. He can select them from the list and then click continue to move on to the next plan. Here he can do the same thing. He can open his Delta Dental. He can say, okay, I wanna do the employee plus family. I wanna add my spouse and I wanna add my children. And then he would click continue here we can see that he's already involved in the Employee Voluntary Life Program. It tells us that by the passive enrollment and stating that the plan was previously elected. If he wanted to make changes, he would click on the plan itself, say OK, then choose the plan and select his units for his base life coverage. Each item that he completes, when he's done, he is to click continue. When he gets to the end, he would click confirm and submit. If he wants to review the information, he can click the uh, PDF option and open up a report that shows what he is enrolled in uh, going forward based on this enrollment option. It even lists the people that he has uh, on the plan. I'm going to close that tab, takes us back here. And again, when he clicks submit, it will ask him to enter his password so that uh, he's uh, done an e-signature uh, stating the uh, acknowledgement of the terms of this. And that's all there is to um, completing a live event. Let me know if you have questions.